Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some revamping in my entryway here. Now this is what it used to look like. This is when I had that habitation box and I did this for spring and here you can see down at the bottom. And I'm going to remove everything on here. I'm going to use some of the same pieces and add a few more. So the first thing, as you can see, I've taken everything off of my console table and my shelf. Pan down here, and of course we got to hide the timer there for that. And I've added my um, tray medallion. This used to be in our in my previous home in the breakfast nook. I couldn't figure out where to put it here. I don't have hardly any wall space in my uh, breakfast nook, so thought I would do it this way. And I've also hung this galvanized, I guess it's like a basket tray here. It's a double one, kind of to balance it off with the hall tree. So let's go ahead and we are going to get started up here on the shelf. And I'm going to start here on the left side. The first thing I've added is my glass jar here with, this is actually some ornamental grass from my previous home and I've never preserved it. It's never shedded. I don't know why, but it was on the right side. Now it's on the left side. And I did have this box on here before it was over to the right. So we're going to move this over here to the left. Now I want to add a few things over here to the right. And I'm going to use my little bucket container thingamajiggy here with my greenery in it. And I'm going to add something different here. So this is just a glass bottle. I have like six of these. And I may use a couple on here. The next thing I want to do is put something next to the clear glass bottle. And this is just one of those green bottles that I've used before. And it's just from some olive oil. I thought they were interesting in shape and color, so I save them for decor. And you might have noticed I actually did one over there to the left too. And then I've added just a touch of greenery around here. So now I want to come down to the top of my console table and we are going to get started on here. The first thing I want to do is let's work over to the right instead of by the lamp room to the right side first. And I added that little riser that I made on a previous video. And then I'm just going to take that basket from the habitation box that has that greenery in it that I had before to set it on top of there. And then I have this uh, brown bottle. And then I'm going to add, I know you can hardly see it, it's the little glass, uh, it's to put little flowers in. It has the, the metal holder in it. I thought that would be really cute here. And then I want to work over here at the lamp, and I just have one of my little boxes, little French country grayish box. And this is another piece from the habitation box with the little bird bath with the birdies. I thought it'd be cute sitting on top of here. And here's another one of the tall clear glass bottles. And then I added a little bit, a little bit more metal over here, and I had this cute little chicken wire basket. I'm not going to put anything in it. But I think this is all I want to do on top of the console table. So I'm liking how this looks. So let's kind of pan up here. I think this is all coordinating really well together. And we'll come back down here. Now let's get started on the bottom. I'm going to work on the right side first. Let's get my timer covered up. And this is one of uh, a wooden box that I've had for a long time. I used it, you know, previously. I'm going to set this one here. I have two sizes. I have a smaller version of it, which is on top here, and that covers my cord, the outlet, everything. So now I want to add that other little basket that came from the habitation box. And I have my little greenery in there, and I, I gotta add a rooster. Here he is. I love this little rooster. It was in my uh, family room in my previous home, so I thought he looked really cute here. And I have this little galvanized bucket that says number one. I actually have three of them that say one, two, and three, but I'm gonna use my number one. Next, I wanna work over to the left, and I have my galvanized, I guess it's like a Tabasco basket, 
basket kind of, you know, tray, whatever. I thought it would be really cute here. And then I have one of my rustic little lanterns. And I want to add something inside the basket here. So I have this grapevine wreath that I haven't done anything with. It was up in my craft room and I did add a candle in there. And it fit perfectly in here. And I'm not going to really do too much to the wreath here. I'm just going to add that little bit of greenery. That's that same greenery that is up top on the very uh, the top shelf. And a little bit right there you can see. Alright, so I like how this looks. And I think I need to start over here now. i got to put something in here. And I'm just going to put a little something on my hall tree because we do use this with our coats and hats. So let's go ahead and add something over here. As you can see, this is what I've done. And I just added a little bit over here to my hall tree. And we got Colby helping me out. Actually, I think he's just kind of chilling. <laughs> Alright, I'm really loving how this looks. I have this long hallway. I don't really have an entry. To the left I have like a little tiny entry from the front door and then I have my long hallway. <laughs> Say hi Colby. <laughs> Alright, so let's get close up of everything so you can see. How about we start over here with my galvanized double uh, basket here. Now this is just, it's kind of like a dish towel here that I folded over and it kind of looks like a little bit of a, a bag but that's, that's all it is, a little bit of greenery. This is a mason jar that I had embellished a, a year or two ago, just that little bit of greenery there. And let's kind of go up here and check everything out. down to the very bottom here. Now, I think I like this little section the best with my rooster because I just love that rooster. All right, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that I could give you some ideas for decorating in your entryway. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend and so does Colby here. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.